Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah to all my brothers. Uh, I would like to ask you uh, just uh, one question uh, concerning Gog and Magog. Uh, first of all, how did uh, Gog and Magog have a huge extent on global affairs if they are trapped by the wall that Zulqarnain has built? As we know, the wall will not fall unless the, the, the Tiberian Sea is dried up. Uh, thank you. The question is, Zulqarnain built a barrier. And when he built that barrier, he used blocks of iron and then coated it with molten copper. <laughs> and they could not scale it, nor could they penetrate it. So they were trapped behind the wall. They could not get out. But Imran Hussein is talking about Gog and Magog in control of the world today. But the wall is supposed to be still standing and the wall will not come down until the water in the Sea of Galilee dries up. So how do you explain that? Well, first of all, the Prophet ﷺ was asleep at the home of his wife Zainab anha. And in his sleep he had a vision, Ru'ya. It was something terrible. Terrible. And when he woke up from his sleep, his face was flushed red. Hmm? And then he raised his hands and he said, No. And then he uttered these words. Wailul lil Arab. Woe unto the Arabs. Min sharrin kadik tarabha. Because of a great evil which should now come upon them. It's close by. What evil? That's going to destroy the Arabs. He then raised his hands like this. This is Sahih Bukhari. And the hadith is repeated in Sahih Bukhari several times. Several times. He raised his hands like this and he made a circle. And he said, today. And today means T-O-D-A-Y. Today. <laughs> today doesn't mean 2,000 years from now. Today means today. At least in my knowledge of the English language. Adio, Arabic. Today, a hole has been made in the rudder. The word is, the language used is exact language. At the beginning, they asked him to build a sad, which is a barrier. And he said, I'm going to build a rudder, which is like a, a dam. You build it and you can contain the water. Dam. That today a hole has been made in the Radam of Gog and Magog, of Yajuj and Manju, indicating very plainly and clearly, indicating that the release of Gog and Magog has now commenced. Otherwise, Wailulil Arab min Shabrin Kadik Taraba. It's Karib. Karib has mean 2000 years from now. Huh? So the destruction of the barrier will take place only when Allah destroys it. Because Zulkarnain said, Hada rahmatu mi rabbi. Fa idha jaa wa'du rabbi ja'alahu dakka. Wa kana wa'du rabbi haqqa. That this barrier has been constructed in consequence of Allah's kindness. But when that time comes of which Allah has won, Ja'alahu dakka. Allah is going to bring down the barrier. So the misstatement about a hole being made in the wall indicates that the destruction of the barrier commenced in the lifetime of the Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam. That the barrier is not going to be brought down 2,000 years later. However, we have this strangest situation where so many, the overwhelming majority, are insisting the barrier is still standing. In consequence of one solitary hadith, one solitary hadith, which is misunderstood, and when it is misunderstood, it is in conflict with the total data that comes out of the Quran and the Hadith. One solitary Hadith being misunderstood 
understood and they insist the barrier, the wall is still there. If the barrier built of bricks, uh, blocks of iron is still standing, I would certainly want to travel there to see it. Out of, out of love for the Quran. Out of love for the Quran. The Quran has spoken about this big wall. The wall is still standing. And therefore I should have a restlessness in my heart to go and find that barrier. If I do not have a restlessness in my heart, if I make no effort whatsoever to go and search for the barrier, which is still standing, which should not be difficult to find, then there is a serious problem of integrity here. Yes. <clears throat> if the barrier is still standing also, we have now every square inch of the earth for the route. Something called Google, Google Earth. <laughs> you can stay at home and find a barrier. The fact is that from the time of Nabi Muhammad to this day, not one person, not one person has seen that barrier. Not one. And yet you insisting it's still there because of one solitary hadith. What is the hadith? The hadith is that when Nabi Isa alayhi salam returns, he's going to kill the child. And when he kills the jal, فَبَعَثَ اللَّهُ فَبَعَثَ اللَّهُ فَبَعَثَ اللَّهُ يَأْجُوجَ وَمَأْجُوجَ فَبَعَثَ اللَّهُ يَأْجُوجَ وَمَأْجُوجَ بَعَثَ means to raise or to send. It could not be to raise because they were already raised. They were already created. They were already committing facade on the earth. So you have to eliminate raised. The only other meaning is send. So after Nabi Isa Islam kills Dajjal, then Gog and Magog are going to be sent. This is the clash. This is the nuclear war. This is every town and every city going to be destroyed at that time. This is not released. This is send. Release is over there in the Quran. وَحَرَامٌ عَلَىٰ قَرْيَةٍ أَهْلَكْنَاهَا أَنَّهُمْ لَا يَرْجِعُونَ حَتَّى إِذَا فُتِّحَتْ فُتِّحَتْ يَعْجُوجُ وَمَعْجُوجُ Okay? But they seem to have all, all, all understood that Ba'asa means that now Gog and Magog are going to be released. What poor scholarship is this? Terribly poor scholarship, yeah. 